Well, as you can see, I'm not Pastor Adam. Um, however, I'm here presenting a, uh, a message that he has prepared for all of us. So if you just uh, picture me a little bit shorter, um, a little, little more beard, um, different voice, and looking different, it'll be just like he's here presenting to you guys. So, so bear with me. Um, but uh, this message is, again, from Pastor Adam. <clears throat> So much of what's meaningful in this life is made so by our being able to see, touch, and hear something. Seeing our favorite celebrities or athletes or musicians in person, uh, getting to shake hands with them or or give them a high five, going to a museum, seeing a Picasso or a Van Gogh or a Michelangelo up close, standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon and getting the willies when the wind blows a little harder than what you expected. Uh, holding our child for the first time, or seeing our parent for the last time. When we are able to see it, to touch it, hear it, look at it with our own eyes, it becomes real. Real in a way that we could never have imagined. And that realness is transforming. Life takes on a new form, and we are not the same. Seeing, touching, and hearing truly is believing. From John, we declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. This life was revealed, and we have seen it and testified to it, and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. These words from John the Evangelist, excuse me, speak of a Jesus who has seen, who has heard, seen, and touched and looked at by those who lived during Jesus' time on earth. These words speak of the word made into real flesh and revealed to real people. Seeing, touching, and hearing truly is believing. How wonderful and how powerful that must have actually have been to actually see and touch and hear the Messiah sent from God, God made incarnate on earth. How life-changing that experience must have been And how difficult to keep silent, to not declare to the world the fullness of love known in the person of Christ. What then for us here today? If seeing, touching, and hearing truly is believing, then what about us? What about the people of God in this place who cannot physically see, hear, or touch the person of Christ, the real human, the real word made flesh? What hope is there for us in that existence. Again from John, we declare to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. Seeing, touching, and hearing is believing, experienced by others, but declared to us so that we might be in fellowship with those who have gone before us those who have experienced the fellowship with the Father through the Son, Jesus Christ, bring this fellowship to us through the telling and retelling of their experience. And this fellowship is an extremely intimate sharing of one's life with with another. The Father becomes flesh, fully human, and fully divine, so as to intimately share in the lives of those whom the Father created. The Father becomes flesh so that those whom he created might see, touch, and hear God in their midst and proclaim that experience to those who come after them. The Father becomes human to share in fellowship with creation so that we might share in the same fellowship with one another. John's words to us today are what give us hope in our existence. His words move us. We are moved outward into the world and toward one another in fellowship. Just as those before us have experienced the physical presence of Christ himself, we experience the physical presence of Christ in fellowship with one another. We are drawn outside of ourselves and drawn together as one, just as God has done in Christ, just as God has done in Christ. It is only when we are drawn outside of the darkness within ourselves that we might experience the light. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and we do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light, as he himself is the light, we have fellowship with, we have fellowship with one another, 
and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Seeing, touching, and hearing is believing. Some people come together to serve those amongst us who are in need. Feeling the touch of those around us who love us, who care for us, who know us deeply, and who are committed to us. Hearing the word of God in ways we didn't know possible, weren't expecting, or didn't want to hear. Seeing, touching, and hearing is believing, but only in fellowship with one another. The light of Christ is experienced when we are turned away from ourselves and become invested in the intimate sharing of our lives with one another. The physical body of Christ is fully experienced when we are drawn to, it, to another in fellowship and service. The Father, revealed to us through the Son, Jesus Christ, comes to life for us here today when we gather together and commit ourselves to one another in community and in communion. We may not be able to experience the real, physical, in-person Jesus in the same way that John speaks, in the, in the same way that John speaks of in his letter to us. We may not get to touch his cloak, see the wounds in his hands, or even high-five him on the way out of town. But we know Jesus to be real because we see, touch, and hear Jesus in the sharing of our lives with one another. We no longer live in the darkness within ourselves, but we instead... We turn to the light by being moved toward each other in the same fellowship we share in the Father in Christ. Let us pray. Father God, we struggle at times to see you in this world. In the depths of our soul, we feel your existence, but our mind and our eyes struggle to find you. You make to find you and to make sense of your plan for our lives. God, make your presence known to us in undeniable ways. Help us to be your hands, your feet, and your lips in this world, Lord. And let your light shine through us. Lead us to be examples of your unfailing love. We pray this boldly through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.